What up, what up, this is Tony, AKA Shay. So this video, hopefully you all can understand where I'm coming from. I wanted to help the ones that seem to not really get ahead in life. They don't feel like they're making progress, but they're always online liking inspirational posts. So I call them inspirational junkies and it's not to be too disparaging, but yeah, I like to Give, give give people that medicine that sometimes they they you know they don't want but they need and there was just some signs that I don't know just one day randomly it just came to me and it was like just signs that someone is an inspirational junkie and I've seen these people before where every day they repost the same type of inspirational content whether it be religious or just regular inspirational content and they will comment on it send their own comment and it's typically the same like yes and it's like symbolic gestures or you know pictures of obama and i mean it's just like that's what they're stuck on and then when i look at their profiles what they're doing in life i remember earlier it used to be like facebook and i don't really go on facebook anymore but I used to see the same people like talk about the same thing. It'd be pictures of like like the black cartoons, like the black sister with the afro and with the bag and say like just all that type of shit. And I would look at their lives and I'm like, man, y'all are nowhere close to it. Now, I mean, you can make the argument that hey, they don't really post their lives online, but just from the consistent behavior I've seen, yeah, they do. And you know, I just want to. Maybe maybe point out some things where you know you're probably a junkie for inspirational quotes. So I think one one sign I will say is if it's a continuous thing multiple times in a week where you're always posting inspirational quotes. If you're on your purpose, you don't got time to always be reposting the same thing. Like it gets to a point where you're just like, you know what? I just need it. I, just, I need to do it. If you're always posting and and talk, like just just look at the ones that really talk that that mess. Unless the content is coming from them, they always just look at their 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 background, see what they're doing, see what they got going on. A lot of times it's just average shit. And it's like it's kind of like the living vicariously through those inspirational quotes. I was never like that. Like, yeah, I'll see a good quote. I'm like, man, that's cool. But then it will it will make me think about how can I apply that in my own life? I don't want to just see it and then it goes away. That's like a waste of my time. Like I just wasted my time looking at it and thinking about it. I try to I, I try to find a way to implement it in my life. So if you see someone that's always posting and reposting, you know, inspirational quotes all the time, and you don't really see any change in their own lives, then you know that's. I think that's one sign that they're inspirational junkie. What would be another sign? Um, what would be another sign that they're inspirational junkie? I think if 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 they don't, mm, no, nah, that's a bit controversial. I'm gonna keep it at that. I think that is I think that is the sign that you're an inspirational junkie when you only repost and send content that you didn't make yourself, and you don't really show signs of improvement. And it's, and it's the same type of content. It'd be different if it was like maybe a different arena, but it was like the same thing. You keep posting the same thing. It's just like, okay, well, um, maybe you should stop posting, stop taking time on social media to find something that's worth posting and you should pick up a book and read. And maybe you can be that person that writes these quotes. That's just, that's just a thought.